I know it's foggy, but it's hot out here and it was cool in there, so my lens is all fogged up, can't even see. <laughs> glasses do that when I wear them. Feels good in here though. It does. Well, you got my bucket in. We got the bucket and the grit guard and the cannon and I could have sold it five times over. Well, looks like y'all need to stock out, I guess. You know, when we get them in, we stock. <laughs> it's just getting them in. Well, are you ready for the weekend? Yeah. I Big am time. too. Can't get here quick enough. I know, it's just a little bit though. What, seven o'clock? <sighs> I wish it was already here. I agree. Well, you missed the whole big old magenta big Maco. Or Maco magenta, however they call it. I think most guys call it pink, not magenta. But. You know, it might be a shade of pink. I don't know how your camera makes it reflect, but I know we had some distributors taking some pictures and I guess their filters on their phone was like hot pink. Mm -hmm. And I was like telling Michael, like, I'm excited. I said, we're gonna get there. We're gonna open it up. And I said, it's gonna be hot pink. No. It looks hot pink to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm just. I don't know. If you look up the color sample magenta, it's very close. Cause I didn't, I didn't think the same thing. I was like, yeah, it's pink. So you had them fancy crayon packs in school, you know, the big 64 color pack. The ones that I, had the all different shades of colors, yeah. I just got the 16 pack, so that's pink. <laughs> yeah. Well, the good thing about that is, you know, it's black and pink, and that, believe it or not, there's a lot of men that actually like those yeah. two shades. That's like purple. I didn't realize how many men actually like the color purple. You know, Bill had that big old purple Matco box. Did he? Yeah. Hmm. Well. See, I grew up in a... Well, this tells my age again. It goes back to the crayon thing I was just talking about. That's how you tell how old somebody are, you know, when they start talking about stuff. Yeah. But like um, my age group, McDonald's up here had the big plastic people in the playground. And Grimace was purple. Yeah. I don't even know if you know who that is. I don't have a clue. But McDonald's used to have characters. You know, they had Ronald McDonald that was the clown. And yeah. they had the okay. Hamburglar. And then... Uh, Grimace was the big purple thing. I don't even know what you call it, but anyway, <laughs> he was purple, and it was sort of like the girls' yeah. stuff where he was at. So, like they instilled from you at birth that purple's a girl color. Yeah, but well, I mean, right now it's kind of you know all colors are everybody's colors. I'm guessing. I guess so. <laughs> Um, but the second thing new we have on here is our new MSC cart. Yep. And, you know, it has like the big eagle and stuff on it. And the neat thing is on the inside, which I'm not sure if I can open it up. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I just don't want to tear it up because then being my look, there we'd go. Well, I was going to open it. Well, there it goes. I'm gonna hold my hand there because I really don't okay. want to touch. <laughs> so it's got a big, eagle big white wings. eagle. It's the same thing that's here except it's white. Yeah. And it's nice. It is kind. Of... There we go. See, it shuts a lot better. <laughs> that's a pretty neat car. But the good thing is, that one, you know, you can open it and you can lock the drawers if you want, or you can, mm -hmm. you know. Very nice. Y'all gonna have to give this box away to get it off here, ain't you? We have a guy that wants it really bad. He's just kind of working out some kinks right now. Yeah. So. It happens. Kinks is part of life, ain't it? Yeah. He was all excited about it too. He, Michael, he even told me, said, "Look, you know, wait. I'll hold it for you. We'll come back the next week. If you still want it, we'll run the paperwork and everything." He said, okay, so we get like two shops down the road and he calls Michael, he said, I want it like right now. So we do the paperwork and then there's, you know, how credit is, so. It's funny, you got that sign up there that says Slug Burger. <laughs> yeah, we, um, the Magnolia Car Club, we do uh -huh. a, 
they donate to a charity so everybody that sponsors them goes directly toward the charity and that's one of our customers he's the director of it or something like that so well, well it's funny like i know you grew up here with where we had weeks's cafe yeah and it was called dough burgers you mm -hmm. know here north of here it's called slug burgers i thought slug burgers and dough burgers were two completely separate things pretty much the same thing Why? What's, tell me what's different i don't know see i've never ate a slug burger i've always <laughs> ate dough burgers see weeks is he put like uh, sort of like a grit texture to his. Yeah. And that's why his was a little bit different than like the regular dough burgers like oh. RTs or anybody else sells here. But anyway, so the first year I had the meetup, Justin ATV, you remember him, the big beard guy? Yeah. So they come down and I was like, you want to get a dough burger? And they're like, what? what is a dough burger? They never even heard of it, you know? Oh, okay. So we went and got them and, and brought them back and they liked them, you know, and and it was funny, like this year when we was talking about going, getting lunch, he goes, I don't care where we go as long as we go get one of them dough burgers. You know, so I thought it was kind of funny that. Yeah, that now know. they, well. A lot of people don't understand the concept behind that, but it come out like in the, I guess the 30s and the depression or whatever. Yeah, they You know, families a... down here were a lot bigger. Yeah. You know, because my grandmother had 12 kids. And, um. You know, like some of my family that was up north, a big family up there, they might have three kids. Oh, know? yeah. So, obviously we're from the south, so money was a lot harder to come by. Mm -hmm. So they would take flour and egg and mix it with hamburger meat and it make, make the further. meat go further, yep. you know. So that's where it come from, because everybody always asks me the story about that. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, my mama, she could cook some really good dough burgers. I love so. them. I'd rather have them than a regular hamburger. Any day. Uh, I know we always, lunch on Fridays, we do uh, Danny's Italian beef, yeah. which their prices are still a dollar and a quarter for a dough burger. Mm -hmm. And then a dressed dough burger is like a dollar and 75 cents. How do you eat yours? Huh? Do you, are you an original dough burger, just the mustard pickled onion? That's mine. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's mine. <laughs> I can't do all the fancy stuff on there. And you no. can't put ketchup on it. That no, messes it up. Yeah. And I love ketchup. I eat ketchup on everything. <laughs> my kid's good. Now, Michael, on the other hand, he's like completely separate. He's hamburger, meat, and cheese pickles. Yeah. No, no dough burger. No anything? Nope. No anything. No mustard? Nope. Wow. Mm -mm. I got to have a little mustard on the oh, burger. Well, he likes it by himself. So. That's like if I'm going to have fish, I'm going to eat it one way and that's fried. Oh. No other way. Well. But if I don't have ketchup, I ain't eating it at all. Same way with tater tots. You eat ketchup and tater tots? Oh, well. If I don't have ketchup, I ain't eating tater tots. Well, <laughs> a little bit different. <laughs> but anyway, we done got off on a crazy well. thing, but that's y'all a history lesson on slug burgers and dough burgers and all that. So down here in the south, it's a really big thing. And <laughs> at Corinth, Mississippi, which is what, 25 miles north of us? Yeah. They have a big festival every year where they have people come in and they cook different kind of slug burgers, yep. I guess. I don't know. I've never been, but. Well, you might have to take Caroline and y'all go. It'll be fun. And then they got this cruise in too, so you have all these old cars there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. I've seen that. We went by there last year when they had that and it had the, you know, had all the. The eighth is at Arby's cars. where the normal cruise in is. And then the other one is at the actual festival they're letting them set up downtown so so there y'all go if you want something fun to do and you never had a slug burger google Corinth, mississippi and be there on the ninth i guess yeah I mean, it starts at the eighth when starts they the tonight cooking. at arby's and then i think the carnival is actually going tonight and then tomorrow you know you have the festival mm -hmm. so Fun. Well, they picked a hot weekend to do yes they holy did. smoke it was so hot yesterday you couldn't do nothing uh-uh Nope. They had that heat advisory out and we had to go pick up, um, Michael had sold a side locker and a top chest. We got the magenta cart, we got two of the eagle carts, and all of them got delivered at the same time. So it was a wow. stuffed truck and it, it was hot. And he had to pretty much load the top locker and the top chest by, or it's a side locker and the top chest by himself because those things are heavy. Yeah, <laughs> so. they're definitely heavy. 
They you are. know, it's funny. Everybody talks about, oh, the snap-on box is a better box, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about when I got mine. Yeah. Me and Hamilton picked that top chest up and set it up there. It wasn't no big deal. And then we had to hang the lockers on it. Uh-huh. When we hung those Matco lockers. The things are. Me and Michael tried to pick it up to start with. I was like, hey, man, I got a floor jack. Let's go this <laughs> right. <laughs> and he was worried about hurting the bottom of it, you know. Yeah. I'm like, fella, I'm worried about hurting my back. I don't care about the bottom of that locker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had to end up getting two dollies. Uh, the, you know, they're made out of wood. Yeah, with the wheels. With the wheels. Yeah. And he had to lift it up. I had to shove the dolly underneath it and then on the other side. And we had to push it onto the thing. It's not fun at all. And you wearing them sandals all the time. You are brave. Now, I wore tennis shoes yesterday. <laughs> but I wore my Oakley shoes because... We were going to pick those up. I'm going to tell you, when them lockers get on your toes, you'd be wishing you had some steel toes on because them things are Look, ungodly we heavy. To, we had to put that one, uh, he had to do something with the casters on it, so we had to flip it. Well, luckily, he always puts the cushions down because he don't want nothing to scratch mm -hmm. or anything. I wasn't smart enough to move my foot, and it set, and that little cart right there is heavy. So, yeah. you know, yeah, learned my lesson. I know I wouldn't want to put those Matco boxes together all day, every day. Them things mm. are, and that, that one in there was bad. I guess because yeah. it's so deep, you know, like 32 inches deep or Yeah, it's the, I think you got the biggest success that there was. Man, I'm so. going to tell you what, that side locker was a hoss on that thing. There's no way we could have picked that top chest up and set it on no. there. There ain't no way. No. Like, I'm proud we ordered it together. <laughs> Already <laughs> pre-made, so. Well. Yeah cool deal all right guys like always thanks for hanging out with us today hope you all had a good time if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes and in there if you're not subscribed click that button you have a great weekend see ya